<laughs> Goodness, how incredibly much I've missed you, my precious, darling know-it-alls, my clever boys and girls, my kitties and bunnies. I see. I see from the tears in your eyes that you haven't forgotten about your bestest buddy, good old Freeman, and that you're ready to keep on solving riddles and searching for messages. But we don't have much time, so let's concentrate on what's important. The world has finally gone completely bonkers. And so, today, I'm pleased to say my traveling circus is now presenting a completely new show. How guys came up with our money! <laughs> there were grandpas and there were turnips, but there was no dough. People would just exchange what they had for what they needed, like a turnip for a wagon and the wagon for a jug of wine. A simple and easy to understand system. And if there wasn't enough of something like nails or arrowheads due to the fact that almost no one knew how to work with metal, then obviously those things were worth more. Later, people started exchanging rare metals, and if someone got rich, they would carry around half a ton of gold with them like an idiot. It was inconvenient, and you could get robbed. So people decided to turn in their heavy objects for safekeeping. And that's how banks came about. They chopped up everything they got into equal chunks and introduced the gold standard. And the notes from the banks that promised the bearer metal in exchange eventually turned into paper money. It was all simple and clear. There was no way for a bourgeois to line his pockets. But, quite recently, with the help of some clever words and some wise-ass verbal gymnastics, all of the dough makers managed to abolish the gold standard. Which means they screwed everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Come, celebrate, little man. In the past, you would exchange your money for actual gold. Ah, but now you'll be exchanging it for consumer purchasing power. Which means that now, currency is nothing more than ink and paper. With an order from above to regard this typographic composition as happiness and the highest good. And those who oppose this order are wheeler dealers, instigators, terrorists, and sodomites! But I'm here to open up your eyes, my dear friends. Think now. There will not be one single atom of jest in my call to action. Now, the government provides and cares for all of our streets, which is good. But that doesn't mean that you're not personally allowed to plant a tree or paint a fence. It's said that good deeds shall multiply. Also, the government prints all the lovely money. And that's good as well, because currency is the lifeblood of the economy. And the faster it flows, the more lively the economy will become. And oh yes, the good deeds, they shall multiply. Whether it's electronic money, gift certificates, or bubblegum trading cards. ATTENTION! Everyone has the right to issue their own money. And that, my friends, is the biggest of bourgeois secrets. Some secret. Suppose John the Smith paints a hundred extraordinary pictures. He sells them all to his neighbor for 50 bucks and suddenly dies soon after. Most probably from drinking. The neighbor takes them to the city and doubles his dough by selling the pictures to some art profiteer he knows. The dealer hangs them in his trendy gallery and starts selling each one for crazy money. People ask, hey dude, why are they so expensive? He answers, John's dead, there won't be any more pictures, they're in short supply. The same crap's going on with Bitcoin. In this case, math doesn't allow an endless number to be produced. You can't just go and issue 100,000 million of them when you feel like it. Because John died, and they cost exactly as much as people are willing to pay for them. Just like some antique china, or a used pair of Stalin's underwear. So anything that there's not much of, and is difficult or even impossible to duplicate, can work as dough. And that means that almost everything around us is made out of money. It's completely nuts. There's also the good money of Mr. Silvio Gazelle. It works quite effectively, if you are wondering. Until people start getting shot for it. 